Okay, folks, so something I recently heard, let me show you, show you something, something I recently heard that pissed me off. A person who was trying to be a narcissist apologist said to me about someone who was so clearly narcissistic. You want to know what this person said to me? They said they are only narcissistic when they are angry. What? I thought that any of you on this YouTube channel actually could have addressed that. I didn't want to be mean to this person, so I bit my tongue. I can regulate myself because if I didn't hold back, I would have lost it. So instead I made a video. But the issue here is that this is what a lot of people believe. And so then that the conclusion is that, that this raging, manipulative, reactive person is not narcissistic, but rather they only behave narcissistically when they are angry, which is meant to imply that at times when they are not angry, that they are empathic and they're not entitled and they're not manipulative and they're not gaslighty or victimy or invalidating. And it's not true. What a lot of people don't understand is that narcissistic people are able to put on performative, shallow empathy. I was reminded of this dude who was so helpful with his wife and their kids when there were other people around. He was setting up the stroller and handing kids the rest, the snacks, the little snack cups when they were in the restaurant. They happened to be out with a larger group of extended family and friends that they don't see that much. So to everyone with the snacks and the stroller, this guy seems so attentive. So her friends and her family were even a little dubious of why she seemed frazzled. After all, he was so helpful. And people were praising him and he was getting supply. In fact, she was saying how her cousin said, oh my God, I wish my husband helped me this much. On the way out, he, the husband put the things in the car and they got back to their house. And then as soon as they get home, he basically left her what, what, right into the house. He left her to get two kids and a bunch of kids stuff out of the car alone. He was silent and angry the whole car ride home. And when she asked him, he said, I can't believe you have to ask me what's wrong. He said, that's the problem with you. You don't even get it. So now this poor woman goes from having the world regard her husband to be damned Mary Poppins to enduring the silent treatment on the way home and then being told that she should have some whack-ass decoder ring to figure out why he's mad because he wouldn't tell her. Then they pull into the driveway and as he checks his phone, this poor woman is doing a balancing act of two fussing children and the bags and the strollers and all the damn kid paraphernalia. And he is staring at her contemptuously. Apparently that oh so empathic guy who was a veritable preschool teacher at the restaurant has disappeared now that there's no longer an audience. But after all, he's only narcissistic when he is angry. The reason most therapists, family members, and people around you do not get the narcissism thing if they have not actually been through it is the back and forth of these relationships. The performative narcissist who, for example, is the narcissistic person who shows up in the therapist's office with what can even look like insight and say things like, oh, I know. I sometimes get angry and I get that she's so busy with the kids. I think they do everything short of tilt their head and put their hand on their cheek. Look at me. I get it. And the person they are telling, including a therapist, if this is one of those situations where the narcissistic person is actually going to therapy or a friend or a colleague who then says maybe to the wife who was left with all the kids stuff says, you know what? I talked to him. He gets it. He isn't narcissistic. He just gets triggered when they don't, when he doesn't feel heard. F you. I have this YouTube channel because I am not a missionary. Okay. I am not trying to convert people. I am trying to teach them. And those who don't want to be taught won't be taught. So don't watch the damn channel. But those who don't want to be taught, they just sit there and actually try to disprove the hypothesis. It's a hypothesis, folks, but they try to disprove the hypothesis that someone's narcissistic. But here's the problem. 
this is less about proving that someone is narcissistic than it is about understanding that someone who is narcissistic when they are angry are also narcissistic when they are not. That maybe when they're not so angry, they can engage in that hollow, shallow empathy, but are also someone who can say devastating, harmful, eviscerating things or do invalidating and betraying things to someone they claim to love just because they are angry and not be accountable to the effing person they hurt instead of to a therapist or a friend or a person who wasn't there. So the narcissistic gets to play hero again. Look at how insightful and sensitive I am. I know I hurt her. That's narcissistic. The hallmark of narcissism is the shape shifting, whether it is from good days to bad or even non-abusive days to very abusive days. And the real peril of narcissism, again, and I've said this over and over again, is that they are socially perceptive, very much so. So they know not to behave like a five-star a-hole when there's an audience around. They save that for the drive home. Narcissistic people are at their worst when they are angry. And that's not a newsflash. We are all at our worst when we are angry. When healthy people behave badly when they are angry, they are accountable. They offer meaning, meaningful apologies and not the BS, I'm sorry you feel that way nonsense. They make amends. And for the person in the relationship who is forever living on tenterhooks, hypervigilant, wondering when the boom is gonna fall again, this idea of being told that, well, I think this person in your life is only narcissistic when they are angry, is actually gaslighting. The narcissism is why they're able to go back and forth from world-class awfulness and emotional evisceration when they aren't getting their way or their poor narcissistic person's feelings are hurt or they feel like they aren't getting the respect they deserve and then swings to the days when they are regulated for some reason, maybe they got their way and they aren't raging and may in some cases even seem normalish and attuned because things are going their way. Nobody can plan their lives around whether or not someone else is having a good day. But my guess is that most of you have tried and made a real horse race of it for a really long time. Now, sadly, when that person said to me, oh, he's not narcissistic. He's just narcissistic when he's angry. I myself found myself shutting down in the conversation because I knew that there was nowhere to go in this conversation. And I knew that that person would keep enabling the narcissistic person. Personality is consistent. So part of us that's pretty predictable. When agreeable people are angry, they're still agreeable. Agreeable people when they're angry tend to course correct, tend not to be loud with their anger. They have other responses. They'll sometimes apologize might even in some cases feel a little guilty for being angry. When narcissistic people are angry, their lack of empathy and entitlement and dysregulation and self-centeredness are on full display. When they are not angry, they are able to be better regulated, but still don't have the full spectrum of empathy, not even close. They are still selfish and they are still entitled. And, and this is the piece that is so frustrating. They may even know that they believe like an ass when they were angry, but they still do it. Honestly, I think some people in the world these days, they just want to be contrarian for the sake of it. And especially when they see me coming, they view it as a game. They'll say, I'll prove to you, Dr. Romani, that this person is not narcissistic. Listen, an angel doesn't get its wings just because we correctly identify someone as narcissistic. If that makes you happy, prove away. I, I actually don't care. I look for the patterns. The cruelty of someone when they are angry and the lack of accountability or amends making, whether or not someone is narcissistic, still makes for a toxic relationship. And while I understand that for many folks who are narcissistic, the narcissistic relationship can be born out of adversity or even trauma. 
Many people who have endured simply, many people who have endured similar traumas did the work, faced the demons, and while none of us are perfect, most of us don't use other human beings as pacifiers and punching bags. The narcissistic person has the social perceptiveness to know what constitutes acceptable behavior when they need validation. They can learn to keep it together when life doesn't go their way and use their words and regulate their emotions. Don't get lost in the weeds of trying to prove whether or not someone is narcissistic. But once it is established that a person has narcissistic behavior patterns, and you're looking for consistency basically, yes, they will always be worse, meaning that they will be more interpersonally harmful when they are angry. But it doesn't mean that they stop being narcissistic when they are not. You don't need to go and explain this to the enablers and the under-informed around you. But keep that piece of information in your back pocket so you don't feel crazy. I hope that was helpful and thanks again.